My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violin, New Jersey, and I'm going to record, well, my persecutor. Um, so he has a few of my words he put in here, took from me, and um, he doesn't actually teach this, but I am going to teach it. Why? I don't know. I have a lot of people stealing from me and claiming it as their own, and then slandering me, making up what I believe. That has been happening ever since this church, ever since 2001. And the violin, for violin first church of the Nazarene, who is not a, uh, who is not the first church of the Nazarene Jesus. So, um, this guy is an evil, evil man. So, um, why do I keep listening to him? I don't know. I just had, you know, I have, um, all right. So, I'm just going to, um, record this section and, um, I'm going to give an original teaching against it's a teaching against all the teachings in the world. It's a teaching against the evil false teachings that I grew up with in my environment. Um, which I rejected all my life. Or just didn't, like, you know, connect with it. Because didn't even know they were talking about half the time. I had to look stuff up. Um, <clears throat> um, to see even what they were talking about. When I was around 19, I started that. Um, so, uh, I had to confirm and look up well, a lot of things. Uh, and, and so, they're lying about me, by the way. They, this lie, by the way, it is cookie-cut, um, coded the same among just about all the atheists. Have this thing where they sit there and say, oh, you were taught that. Now, I'm experiencing this again in the violent police department by an anti-theist, atheist cop who claimed, who is a claimed atheist. Alright? And they cookie-cut this. Now, I deal with that or whatever. The, th the thing is, is I have never ever taught anything that I grew up with. I had taught the knowledge of God within me that taught me. Okay? That interprets my surroundings. Uh, whatever case may be. And no, God does not lead me to scripture and to interpret scripture. That is my choice. God enlightens me, um, anoints me um, by the knowledge of God um, and his word. Okay? And I use the knowledge I have. Now, I don't interpret all things. I interpret things that are of need for me to interpret. Okay? So, the thing is, is this, um, pastor who's been persecuting me, he's stolen works from me. He has stolen works. I don't know if it was this one. I can't remember what it was. Um, uh, but there was a video, like, just maybe a year or two ago that he copied, um, a teaching from me from the Garden of Eden. So, I'm not really sure. I can't still, I can't depict what it was. And, um, I lost work, um, uh, in, you know, um, trying to record all these things and keep up with it. So, the thing is, is that, um, he's echoing, he's reading from a forged Bible, so the Bible is garbage. Um, it flips things backwards, they're trying to make up excuses, and make up lies and perverting and trying to use a Bible that falsely defines religion and claims that religion persecuted Jesus. It's created by an anti theist atheist. Like uh, the other Bibles that they use, like the uh, NIV and all the other garbage, false forged Bibles that basically, oh, to um, call morality filth and to condone rape. Not this particular version. But this version condemns God's given religion, which is, um, basically the knowledge of God in love. Now, they'll sit there and they make up all their rules and lies, how I don't have love, while they speak against what is against God's love, Okay. And condemning God's laws. So the thing is, this false minister is echoing 
that of the fraudulent, those who call themselves Pentecostals, who are also stealing works from me, by the way. So he has mocked me, and basically because he was teaching the whole um, self-centered false antichrist doctrine, um, he basically is going to others censor, uh, others centered, uh, censors, censor, <laughs> others centered to mock me because why? Because well, I deal with well everybody else. So, because he was speaking the live South Center, which was brainwashing people to basically well be self centered, and it was deadly. I've actually uh, expressed many things on the reaction of society of the brainwashing of self centeredness, not being conscientious towards others. Okay, so, but because he was preaching um, self centered, I wrote against that and said to be Christ-centered. So that was stolen from me um, by the fraudulent Pentecostals and a lot of them who are in the Vina Police Department who are police officers who are stealing uh, knowledge from me and then slandering me. Now this is not new because this happened in this uh, church. Uh, First Church of Nazarene now calling themselves Ramoth Church. Okay. This is William Clay, the baby killer, murderer, who persecuted me and my children to sit there and brainwash them and use my, uh, yeah, and imprison me to a rapist, a monster, um, a psychopath, um, to keep me in prison, along with his collusion with the violent police, um, because I am Christian, committing hate crimes against me, Okay. So, telling me I have to blame myself for the crimes they committed against me, by the way. Not for any action that I did. So, they're pathological liars. Psychopathic. Pathological liars. So, um, they continuously tortured me for like 20 years. He came in a picture a few years later. And, uh... I guess join with them. I don't even know what happened, but I was being persecuted by this church caught by a false minister, Lee King San Piero, or whatever. So, this is the thing. He's basically falsely claiming that we are to be like God. No, we are not. And the lie claiming that Jesus is equal to God, or God himself, is a blasphemous lie. Um... Jesus said that he was not. They prefer uh, uh, a scripture from um, Philippians, okay, where it actually says that he did not count himself, count robbery to make himself equal to God. Um, they pervert that because it says, did not count it robbery to be equal to God. They pervert that claiming that it is saying that he is claiming that he is equal to God. Jesus said, my father is greater than I. All right. So when you sit there and you you they if you, if you if they go by all the scripture that none of them say that Jesus is God, we're confirming that Jesus is God. You eliminate all the rest of it where Jesus denied being God and Jesus identified who he was to God. Okay. So if you sit there and quote those verses, they'll sit there and ignore that and just jump to other verses and use all these verses that none of them say Jesus is God and claim it says Jesus is God. So, God is not a person, not even three people, and um, Jesus is not God himself. Yes, we are all gods. And uh, as written throughout scripture, um, and Jesus quoted um, from scripture, um, um, identifying himself as um, the son of God, which I am a daughter of God. Those who are persecuting me are not children of God. You are children of the devil. So, they're flipping that backwards, by the way. Anyway, um, the teaching, um, he's teaching from, um, Genesis 1, 26, and isolating it, saying, um, um, let us make a man in our own image and our likeness and cutting it off, right? So, the thing is, that is often mistaught by all of the churches um yes my teachings on it are original 
I do have a writing on it. I did have a video on it. Um, and then, you know, there's people who claim that God is a man. God is not a man or a woman. Yes, it does say God created man in his own image. Created him. Misinterpreted. And the only one who interprets, interpreted it correctly. So, um, a lot of people uh, use this passage to also... Um, uh, I'm just going to... Um, uh, they're trying to claim that God is a person. This is the thing. Everything that is male and female... God created, God is the same as wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. God is not physical. God manifests the spirit in physical form, okay? We are like the ultimate painting with life of God, God's creation, okay? Like a painter. Act Strangely, he actually heard me say that <laughs> and I did not know that he had a stepdaughter that was an artist I never actually even met her before so um and it was strange um actually described it as likeness as a spirit of a person who um paints a painting um and the painting it's physical, but it comes from the spirit of a non-physical, even though you're using, I didn't say this part, our physical bodies or what have you, through us, okay? So, um, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, it was very strange. Um, I don't want to think about Carrie now. I'm just, just going to record this. So, then people could be perfect according to the Bible's understanding if they were to fulfill their purpose for, for which they were created. See, if we were to fulfill our created purpose, according to the Bible, we could be perfect, although according to... I don't completely agree with that. He, This is actually hard to get through. Um, I was actually um, triggered went through a lot of um, pain uh, earlier. Uh, no, not in conviction. It'd be because of his sin abominations um and evil um they're lying and claim that there are abomin abomin abominations of sin and making that the law of god and claiming that they're teaching the law of god and claiming oh i'm in pain because of the law now they never brought law against me not them and their and and their uh, persecutor uh roman uh nazi police yeah i guess they're combined like the roman soldiers crucified jesus and the nazis or whatever, and I'm not just using those words in vain. I don't use words in vain. Um, it is descriptive for basically their persecution against me for many, many, many years, and um, causing me severe trauma. Of course, I'm called said that I am not of God because of the trauma I suffer and having um, severe uh, uh, PTSD, CPTSD. To Webster's dictionary, we would not be perfect. question is for what purpose was man created well the bible answers that the bible leaves us no doubt as to that in the creation story we find god saying now let us conceive a new creation humanity made in our image fashioned according to our likeness see we're created to be like god That doesn't even say, that doesn't even say the purpose created. They usually try to provoke an answer. Now, there have been talk. I don't even remember what people have said. There have been talk of what is our purpose. And people have questioned that. Excuse me. Um, and I think people had like different answers of why we are created. So, like, for example, some say, you know, we created because God needed uh, um, us to love him. And that didn't make any, that doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, that's like a separation from God. Um, 
now it could be reflected from my own observation that I mean we come from God there's there's no <laughs> I I you know I I can't understand the things that people say well that's because they're separated from God and that's just basically all I hear um I mean there's a separation by our flesh by our sin there is a separation but God is still with us and did not leave us even though we were um separated from the garden Eden garden Eden is not a geographical place yes there is ge geographical descriptions of the garden Eden but the garden of Eden as first time ever said and rightly said is a state of mind the thing is it is sealed off sealed off in our conscience by the way so, um, the thing is, there's more teachings in regards to eternal life, okay, and, um, the tree of life, should I say, um, which relates to Christ's teachings, uh, that I, you know what, I don't have enough time for that, and I can't put that on here. So, the thing is, is that, um, yeah, so, I, I, you know what, I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to finish that, okay? Now, the thing is, they copied my original teaching that I said, after the fall of Adam and Eve, we are after the likeness of Adam. Okay? Not separated from the, the... the Not separated from the creation of God. Okay? Now when it says likeness of God, nobody is like God. Okay? Hold on. I am the only one who taught that we are after the image of Adam in God's own image. Now the thing is, it describes image... Hold on, 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image. Now, this was falsely taught in this church, uh, the Raymond Church, formerly known as Von First Church of Nazarene, that they claimed that that said Trinity. That was actually used to claim Trinity, and that was, that was around maybe 2001. I'm going to say that around 2002, 2003, when that was said to me. Um... And it was said to me again, so before this pastor came, now they try to sit there and claim that that was talking about the three-person trinity. Because there was a discussion because I was against it. The thing is, the churches that I grew up with, their doctrines, even though I didn't understand or, or was taught their doctrines about that, um, I'm not saying they didn't teach it, but um, I just never got into, into that. Um, they... Um, they teach the God is three persons, um, and Jesus is God. I didn't really hear the thing about Jesus is God. I heard, like, other alternate things re similar related to that, and I can't remember exactly what it was. They they were I was very confused by their teachings. Because why? Because their teachings are false. So I have my teachings, and then they're, they're, there's their teachings. Which I couldn't even make out because they're teach well because their teachings are false. So the thing is, is I actually taught this to a false teacher, Sam Piero, who was slandering me, abusing me, or whatever. And then he kept teaching all these false things and trying to convince me of these false teachings. And the thing is, is that I was correcting him in scripture. Now the thing is, I didn't learn this scripture taught by the churches I grew up with, which were evil and abusive. Okay. Um, I basically independently, um, studied, not, okay, not independently studied on my own. I independently studied on my own, um, at 19, but when I was a child, but when that first started, I was actually made to write much Bible scripture hundreds and hundreds of times, most of it in the New Testament and within the four Gospels and Psalms, okay? So, um... The thing is, it was all on the circumstances of, like, it 
what really mostly was not like Jesus teachings. So, um, like the knowledge of teachings, I read that on my own while I was, you know, in my own, like writing scripture or whatever, like in my room, you know, like for homework or whatever, which was just, unba they were very, very, very strict and they never taught scripture right. When I was learning scripture on my own, it was in conflict with their false teachings and nothing about them. Like everything about them was against God. That I was actually learning what was written in scripture. I believe what was in scripture. I did not believe what they said falsely was in scripture. Okay. So that was my experience. And I tried to take that experience. And actually because I. We were never allowed to speak. I never had Bible study before. Before I went into this church. This was, well okay no. There was one class in the church I went previous to that. Um, near the end or what have you. And it was actually a day that I actually left or whatever, they didn't really do much talk of Bible study, you know, like simple things, I don't even know what it was, but there was only, I only had one, the rest of the time, it was just, um, um, well, I think, I, I don't know, but, okay, let me just go on, let me just go on, because I can get into another, another thing, okay, and then God said, let us make man in our image according to our light likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and the cattle and on the earth and over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. Now, when I dealt with atheists, it was probably, I don't even know how long ago it was. It could have been like six months ago, a year ago was the last time I actually talked about this. Because, you know, the, the, a lot of the atheists, they sit there and like, oh... These children are starving. That's your God. You know, type deal. This is constant. This horrible thing happened. That's your God. Why doesn't God do anything? And my answer is because God gave us dominion over the earth. We are all gods. Why don't you do something? <laughs> so, um, the thing is, is uh, this is happening because that's what people are doing. And there's no reason for me to blame God for what people do i've been through a lot of horrible things and you know they they confront me like because i'm christian that that i i've never experienced anything horrible or um i'm just like they have this churchian image you know all these goody goody two shoe like you know they go to church and you know um of course they have their things like oh, oh yeah look what your priest is doing to your children or what have you yeah i know because i'm a victim of a cult <laughs> okay, um, I've been speaking against all their evils for a while. And like I said not too long ago, I'm like, atheists have legitimate complaints. Um, uh, not all of them, not all of them, okay? I'm just saying, to question things. And, um, I actually uh, listened to them and, um, learned about them. And, uh, and a lot of them are just as evil and abusive of church, uh, as church people. They use the same manipulation tactics, by the way, the same evils. And most of them who basically, um, claim that they're in churches and sit there and go around like, Oh, you live at the church. And I'm just like, Oh yeah. And I grew up in church, in church with your abuses and your evil. So the thing is, is that, you know, I tell them, I was just like, I have never ever taught. And they're like, oh, you will, you learn that. No, I did not. And that was the thing, an atheist tactic that I actually heard in this church by Lee King first, actually. I can't remember if it was before him or after him, but I'm pretty sure it was after him. So he was actually relaying messages. He was saying, so I'm not really sure who's atheism. Um, now, I wasn't aware that was connected to atheism. It was like a few years when I was engaging, when I'm hearing the echoes of a lot of things that came up in this this church. Um, so, the thing is, is that, you know, a false minister, Lee King, was lying about me and claiming, oh, well, you learned that from you know, uh, grew up on and told me to go back to where I came from. The thing is, what I was teaching did not teach what I taught. And no, I never taught anything that what the people around me taught, anything even close. So I simply question about Moses um, when they sit there and claiming that, you know, um, nobody was saved. Now I didn't know if they were being sarcastic or literal or whatever they mess with my head or whatever 
and uh, claim that, you know, forgiveness is basically... I know for a fact there's other similar things and under the false teacher, San Piero, that I know he didn't do, like... Well, he did a few sarcasm, but didn't do, like, sort of like a, um... I, I, I can't explain. I can't, I can't, um, I'm gonna go, have, I'm gonna go on. So, the thing is, is that, um, they were making claims that, you know, um, you know, that salvation, well, it says salvation came through Jesus Christ. I'm not denying that. Okay, I'm not actually, but the thing is, is I believed, I basically taught that salvation was actually before Jesus also. And they had, uh, like, other churches, like, after this, when I was excommunicated and persecuted out of this evil cult church, I said that to somebody else, and they're like, oh, that's, an impo that's impossible. And salvation is talked through, throughout uh, the Old Testament scripture, or whatever, and, um... And, you know, they'll sit there and might claim that, oh, that's a foreshadowing of what is the common or what have you. But I asked the question in this church, um, well, how come Moses and Elisha was uh, seen with Jesus? So I asked that in front of him, in front of the uh, false minister who was abusively attacking me, um, trying to silence me because I was interpreting scripture. And they're still doing that. They're making up all these lies What uh what I make out to be interpreted scripture about and what they're trying to make it out to be that is not of me. So they slander me. They commit all kinds of evil acts against me. And that was my main problem, that they're committing crimes against me, slandering me, harassing me. I wasn't fighting over scripture, but I was basically, when I basically questioned about scripture and wanted to engage in conversation about it, they were abusive to me. So I spoke, I was sitting there, and I went to somebody else about, because I tried to reason and reconcile with them. They're pretending about reconciliation. They're lying. Them and all these other false ministers from these other churches and everywhere else, and Frank Apollo, they're sitting there pretending they have the message of re reconciliation, and they're doing all this, but they cannot reconcile, cannot reconcile to the things of God unless they accept the truth, and, but they call their lies truth. And they flip it backwards. So, um, they just want, they're all worried about how they appear to other people seeking the praise and praises of man rather than God. They don't believe in God. So they flip it backwards. They steal from me, then slander me, and then basically claim I'm not of the Holy Spirit, and then blast me the Holy Spirit with all their lies. Okay? Now he basically does things and perform, is performing these things that he does not believe. Okay, and it's not him. But the thing is, his, what he's doing is not Christian. So, um, I'm going to go on. So, it's just as evil. And when we're like God, according to the Bible, we're... So, he has these manipulation tactics to basically... It's all about him trying to justify him trying to be like God. Okay? So, um, uh, nobody's equal to God. Jesus is not equal to God. And, um, there's no way I've experienced God. And there's no way I'm going to see a man as, uh, uh, like God. So, um, in the Im make us in the image of God. And that was, it was descriptive of what that meant by that. And that to make them in the image of male and female. Now, the male and female of Adam is corrupted. Okay. So, um, I mean, it came to the point where it was just like, it's males and females, like, you know, whatever. But the thing is, male and female is in throughout life of creation through trees, flowers, you know, um, yes, animals and all these things. All these things are the outward expression that comes out, um, from God, um, that came from within himself expressed in everything that is of creation, from the skies and the planets and the stars and, um, um, you know, the insects and creepy crawly things as they ha describe it here. Actually, kind of like that description of creepy crawly things. <laughs> so, um, the fishes and, and the birds or whatever. These are the very things that came out from everything that God is. Okay, um, they're the expression of God just like painted all over the place. Okay? I just got goosebumps. 
I don't know. They ain't picked up. <laughs> so, um, so the thing is, is I explain that, and I was like, what it says in our image is basically it describes this as, um, male and fe female, and claiming to let mankind have dominion over the face of the earth. So, like I said, with atheists, I explained to them that so we are given dominion over the earth as gods. We are gods. So, um, yes, it is true, and it's descriptive, uh, even by Jesus. He said, you know, that scripture said, did I, uh, uh, quoting, um, the word of God, um, I said, you are all gods, okay, because they were questioning and falsely claiming that Jesus was claiming he was God, and he did not. He said, because I said I am the son of God, of God, so... Um, the thing is, is no, God does not have a, a penis and a vagina. I actually did a video on that. Okay. Um, so that is a physical manifestation. But the thing is, this is also an original teaching by me because the descriptive of, um, it says, so God created man in his own image, the image of God. He created him, right? Him is not a male. He created him, male and female, he created them. Him is, I am, now it's not uncommon that people know that I am makes something more than one or plural, as is often taught in the words like cherubim and, uh, and oh my gosh, Cherubim and cherubim. I can't remember. It's been like many years. I haven't taught that since I was in this church. But, I mean, that's very common. But that was an, uh, that's not something that was, you know, I, I didn't learn it in a church like growing up. I basically learned it in a well, um, encyclopedia looking up different things or whatever. Um, so, in the Vine Public Library. So, in language. So, that's where I learned it from. Um, it's just, it is a common teaching of the I am, but they do not ever, none of these churches pick up that I am in him. H is the being. Okay? H is the being. M is of male and female. Because I teach people, no, God is not a male. No, God is not a man. No, God is not just a female or a woman. Okay? God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is expressed in what we know in male and female. Okay? So, um, I am, that is original teaching in the word him. So, him, basically, when you sit there, like, you have he and she. She is, like, of male, like, fe and female. He and she. You understand? It's male and of male. This is why I use mankind a lot um, to depict male and female. Um, because if I, if I use him, it's going to be confused by people who have a different dialect of thinking and think that him actually means just a male. It does not. Okay? So, um... It's not, you cannot look at God and say God is male and female and has these two different, like, genitals. God does not have genitals. God is not a person. God is an infinite uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding as one. And out from this created in all things, male and female, like I said, the male and female and plants and flowers. Okay, things that create, recreate. Okay, because the laws of God is reflective of creation from the creator. Okay, I said that strange creator, creator. Okay, um, so the thing is, is that um, I'm gonna go on. So yes, that is my original teaching uh, concerning him and this is and this is how I interpret it just because I noticed when I was reading it it says in the image of God he created now he is um being this this false pastor persecuting me uses the word essence that basically is how I express God you know the essence of God or what have you 
he is not saying male. It's saying being. Okay? So, he created him, male and female. He created them. Okay? Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Uh, have dominion over the fish in the sea, over the birds in the air, and every little thing that moves on the earth. Okay? So, yes, we are responsible as a whole. For what happens on this earth. And it, by sin, basically, uh, errors because of non-dependency on God's wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We're destroying each other. We're destroying society, this earth, and all these other things. Because there are basics of natural law to keep things natural. And when you mix things and...